Hi guys, uh, this week's episode I want to share with you a trick in order to help you get the perfect guitar tone. Um, what I have here set up, I really actually don't need all of it uh, now that I think and look at it. Uh, but this is kind of most of the rig I use to jam and record and demo at home. So less the loop station. So just my basic tone for if I want to record something is going to be the greenhouse effect sludge hammer distortion and the ARP 87 walrus audio delay and the Digitech Polara. And that's basically just, that covers most bases for demos and just practice jamming at home. Um, I don't really need the zoom there, but it was already in the chain, so I didn't bother taking it out yet. Um, the trick to it comes with the loop station. Now, generally when I'm, or when people try to achieve a guitar tone, they simply play, uh, you know, a riff, play it once or twice, then tweak the pedals, then go back and play it once or twice, then go back and tweak the pedals. The problem with this is that you're playing, then stopping, then bending over, then changing settings, then getting up and starting playing again, which is very time consuming. And the biggest problem with it is the fact that humans have very poor um, auditory memory. By the time you have leaned over, changed the settings and gotten back to playing, you've already forgotten what the sound beforehand had actually been like. So it's very difficult to be sub objective. You know, it's all very subjective. So the way around that and the way to speed things up is to bring in the loop station or any loop pedal. So the easiest way to do it is to play a riff into the loop station, have it loop continuously and then adjust the settings while the guitar plays itself for you. So I'm going to just show basic demo of how I do this. So my clean tone without any effects, this is being DI'd into a uh, VM Pro at the minute, which is not ideal, but it, again, this is all my practice demoing setup, it's not for serious recording. We just play a riff and have this loop it and then we'll mess around with the pedals. So just something simple, something I've been working on lately. <laughs> okay, so not a perfect playthrough, but it doesn't have to be. It's not a real recording. This is just for the purposes of messing about with this. So, the next step is to figure out what settings I'm going to use with it. So I'll hit play, then I'll add in some reverb and adjust that to, to my liking. Then maybe some delay, and then I'll mess with the distortion. Okay, so that's good. It's kind of subtle, but it's very much there. It's, you know, it's not interfering with the tone, but it's improving it ever so slightly. So now we'll try a bit of delay.
Okay, so that's nice. We'll work with that. And uh, now the distortion, which is kind of the hard bit that people would spend the most time with, or at least I would anyway. I don't know about the rest of you. Okay, and now I think I have something that works with what I had in mind, so I can use it. And it, you know, it was a lot less fiddly and confusing than what what the experience would normally be when you're just bending over and trying to fix things and then go back to playing and go back and forth and back and forth. So, thanks for watching, hope it was of interest to somebody. Uh, catch you next time. <laughs>